It's 128 days till the man burns, and today we're talking about preparing your body for Burning Man. Because it's very easy to get caught up in all the other prep work you need to do and forget about your body. But your body's about to go through hell, so it's worth doing a bit of prep. So let's get the worst one out of the way, or at least the worst for me. Exercise. If you live a kind of sedentary life, you sit at your desk all day, come and watch Netflix when you get home on the sofa, then you might want to start doing a bit of exercise. Nothing hardcore, but you know, you're going to be cycling a lot, walking a lot, probably dancing and jumping on trampolines and all sorts. So your body might not thank you for it if you haven't prepared. I suggest doing some walking, running, jogging and some cycling. And it's not just to build up your stamina, it's also so that you can identify any other problems you might have, like, you know, maybe your thighs chafe. I would rather find out that my thighs chafe before I get to Burning Man so that I can bring along something like some chub rub or some of those short things to deal with that rather than trying to deal with it on the player. For cycling, you know, it can help to toughen up your hindquarters a bit as well before you get there because if you're like me and you haven't ridden a bicycle since you were like five when you get to Burning Man, at the end of day one you can really feel it on your tushy. You don't need to embark on a quest to become like the next top athlete, but you just want to prepare yourself so you're not dealing with like achy muscles or blisters or anything like that. Water is obviously very important and I think on the Burning Man website they advise that you start upping your water intake like a long time in advance, but I don't do that because I feel like it makes my body really inefficient at storing water and using that water properly and then when you get to Burning Man you have to up it even more to account for the heat and the dehydration. So I stay the same and then about a week before Burning Man I switch to water, I only drink water and I drink tons of it and then when I get Burning Man my body is used to that extra water but I don't need to up it even more once I get there. Or I only have to up it like a, a bit, not to crazy amounts. It just seems like if you do it a week before your body is a bit more efficient at using the water you're giving it. A lot of people are unaware that they're addicted to things until they can't have those things. And for some addictions, you know, smoking, you can bring cigarettes, I've heard menthol's the way to go. If you drink a lot of coffee, you can bring coffee with you. But it's not so much the thing you're addicted to, it's how addicted you are to it. You know, if you need like 20 coffees to get through a day, that's going to be a pain at Burning Man to have to keep stopping to have coffee to quench your addiction. And anything your body is addicted to, when you take that away, you can experience withdrawal symptoms. You want to be having like headaches and be grumpy because you can't get that thing that you're addicted to or you didn't bring enough of it to last you the week because you didn't realize quite how addicted to it you were. So start trying to cut back on things. If you are a prolific tea or coffee drinker, you know, maybe start, start reeling it in a bit and trying to have less of it before you get there. Burning Man can do a number on your skin. You can go in there with the smoothest, most beautiful skin and come out of there looking a bit like a lizard. So You'll want to look after your skin, moisturize, you know, give your skin what it needs so that it's in tip top condition when you get in there and then hopefully you won't be quite as lizardy on the way out. The same with your hair, you know, start using some hair masks, you don't need anything fancy like coconut oil is supposed to be good. There's all kinds of recipes that you can make like straight out of the kitchen with like avocados or eggs or I don't know, you know, look on Pinterest, there's loads on Pinterest I'm sure. But again, it's just getting your hair into a nice, manageable state before you even get to Burning Man so that it's easier to deal with once you're there and isn't quite as destroyed on the way out. Your nails as well, they're going to take a battering. And a lot of people like to get gels before they go because then their nails are just protected for the whole week. Those gels are going to stay on and they don't have to worry about it. If you aren't going to get gels, I would suggest cutting your nails short so that you don't have to worry about breaking them because that can be painful and, you know, if they're short, there's nothing to break. And also they don't look so bad, they're not going to be as full of like dirt and player dust by the end of day one. Before Burning Man, you know, there are plenty of like nail strengthening things you can put on just to strengthen them. There's vitamins you can take for your hair and nails. So again, just do what you can to get them in the best condition. And if you're not getting gels, bring along some super glue for your cuticles because cuticles tend to split and crack and be very painful and you can just put super glue on them for Burning Man and it's gonna keep them nice and protected. 
your diet is probably going to be quite different while you're at Burning Man. And while you don't need to prep and, you know, pretend you're at Burning Man and eat that kind of food, it is worth, you know, making some healthier choices and just having your body be in a good state when you're going in. So, you know, some fruits and vegetables, maybe those probiotic drinks. I don't really know what they do, but they're supposed to be good for you. So, you know, why not? Eating healthier is going to help your skin, your hair, your nails, all of that as well. Get lots of sleep. Sleep is good for you. And I'm sure a lot of us could do with a little bit more of it in our lives. But you don't want to turn up to Burning Man exhausted because you've been burning the candle at both ends and now all you want to do is sleep because you're so tired. So try and get some extra rest in before you get to Burning Man so that you can make the most of your week while you're there because it's kind of hard to sleep. For ladies, I have done a video on UTIs and yeast infections and stuff, so you can check that out if you are concerned about that kind of thing. But it is something that happens a lot at Burning Man because of the alkaline in the player dust. Kind of messes with the ecosystem between our legs, everything gets a bit off balance and you know, you don't want to be suffering with that kind of thing while you're at Burning Man. So start drinking cranberry juice or taking cranberry pills or get some, you know, like lady health vitamins or drinks, what, like whatever, go, go to the health shop and just ask them for stuff specifically for lady health and they should be able to help you. If you're worried about body hair, I have another video on that as well, but I would suggest getting waxed. It's the most kind of low maintenance way to deal with your body hair if you want to get rid of it for Burning Man. Either wax it or let it fly free. Otherwise, if you go for shaving or other methods where there's quick regrowth, then you will probably have to be doing some touch-up shaving while you're there. But if you are going to go for waxing, make sure that you get it done at least a few days in advance so that any redness and swelling can go down before you actually get to Burning Man because it can be a little bit uncomfortable after it's just done. You need like a day or two for everything to relax. I know that camping isn't exactly a body prep type thing, but if you haven't been camping before or you haven't been for a really long time, then it could be worth going camping, take a couple of trips, just to, you know, get into the swing of it, see what it's all about, learn how to put your tent together, how to build shade structures, how to cook food, things like that. And if you can, try and go with the people that you're going to be camping with at Burning Man, because it can be intense and you want to know that you and your friend group are able to camp together and have a good time and work out any kinks in the group before you actually get there. So that's it guys, I hope this was helpful and if anyone else has any tips or advice or suggestions, let me know in the comments section below. And as always, if you see me at Burning Man this year, feel free to come and say hi. Bye guys.